Hey guys, today we're going to be draining the fuel tank on this Generac generator. It's been sitting since last winter, so it's got year old gas in it. It has a fuel stabilizer, but let's put some fresh in there to make sure it runs properly. On these Generac generators, the fuel line comes out the front here, just out of the bottom of the fuel tank. And they do have a fuel filter, which this is a great time to change it out if you got one on hand. But what we're going to do here is take off one of these spring clamps. Sometimes they can just do it by your hands or a pair of pliers. This one's loose enough we can do it by hand. We want to make sure the fuel's off so it don't start spilling on us. You're going to wiggle it until it pops off that fuel filter there. We've got us a pair of pliers here. We can kind of grab it and give it a little twist. There. Since we got such a short little hose, I've just got a piece of old garden hose here that'll help us drain it into the bucket. So once your hose is ready, we're simply going to turn the fuel on and that should let it start draining. As well, open the gas cap up top and that'll let air in to let it drain a little faster. Once it fully drains, we'll move over to the carburetor. So now that we got all the gas drained out of the fuel line, what we're doing now is working with the carburetor here. And it just has a little bit of gas in the bottom here. So we're going to need a cup just to catch it. We want to do this while the engine is cold. So we'll just loosen this screw. Shouldn't be a lot of gas, but we're just wanting all that old gas out of it. And say it's pretty snug. Let's go with a socket instead so we don't strip that out. Looks like it's a 10 millimeter. There she goes. Say not much, but that'll let if there's any little particles or anything collected at the bottom of that, it will get those out. We're just going to snug that down, not super tight, and then we're going to put the fuel lines back on the front. Once that's all done, the next step to really help it run smoothly is to change the spark plug. If you need to know how to do that, you can simply click the video right there and it'll take you there. Or if you don't have time right now, click the subscribe button or our logo and you can come back later. Until then, I'll catch you on the next one.